tour is not finished yet. <clears throat> Hope you all enjoyed that masterpiece. This is the Undercroft we're in here. Yeah, that's a cafe there. Obviously, I can't film too much in it because there are people at that. Well, that was absolutely amazing, wasn't it? That. But we haven't done yet. amazing structure of the building but all these as well
See you later. See you next week. Thank you. Photographing all that lot, so. Oh, wow, look at that, that's amazing. That's very really impressive. a pretty enjoyable one today. I wasn't going to do this uh, on the peeps trail. I was going to save it for a separate thing, but but as he was integral in helping to get the pension place set up for pensioners of the navy or whatnot, it would be nice to show it. off my list for a while anyway. Look at that old table. I bet that's seen some interesting activity. I'm sure the old pension have gathered around there.
Thanks very much. Thank you. Take care. And this is how you get up into the chapel without getting sopping wet.
And this leads back down to here, the painted hall and the bowling alley and all that. So the pensioners could have gone to and from church. Authorised person who only no public admittance. And that will go up there into the bell tower, I should imagine. Big picture of that. where we were. Hope you all enjoyed this one ladies and gents. And now join me as we head off back into the past for some historical images. Hope you're all going to enjoy. And with our first historical image this photograph dates from the late 19th to early 20th century and is taken from the Isle of Dogs side Island Gardens and shows the old Naval College. Lovely image this one isn't it? And this image here, Greenwich pensioners in the smoking gallery, Chalkwalk Greenwich Hospital, Illustrated London News, 22nd of April 1865. Now the Chalkwalk, or smoking gallery, is what would just a few years after this image become the famous skittle slash bowling alley that we was able to see in our tour. Now to some of the pensioners themselves and we'll begin with the oldest and if you watched very closely in the painted hall you may well remember the old man who's got the shawl over him here. Many of the people that appear in the paintings in the painted hall were real pensioners and real people and some of the Greenwich pensioners lived to a great age. Most famously John Worley who served at sea for 70 years and lived to the grand age of 96. See the portrait of John Worley in the Painted Hall, and you can discover more about the Greenwich Pensioners in the Visitor Centre if you visit yourself. But here he's painted as a Romanesque figure with a shawl on, but this is the man in real life. This is John Worley, who lived to the age of 96, and was known for his drunkenness, his swearing, and for taking women back to his room. And black pensioners, and there were black pensioners as well. And this man that we can see over to the right, leaning on the back of the chair, the man who's got a wooden leg. John de Man, born about 1774, died in 1847, from the Caribbean islands of Nevis, had served in the Royal Navy under Admiral Lord Nelson. Here he is shown in the painting of the United Services by Andrew Morton. John de Man. John de Man was born around 1774 on the island of Nevis in the West Indies. He entered the Royal Navy as a young boy and arrived in Britain in the 1790s on Nelson's ship HMS Boreas, having served with Nelson in the Caribbean. In Andrew Morton's painting, The United Services, 1845, de Man appears as one of the nine Greenwich pensioners who are welcoming a party of red-jacketed Chelsea pensioners to the painted hall at Greenwich Hospital. They are viewing a painting depicting Nelson's victory at the Battle of the Nile. The nine featured pensioners had all served under Nelson. And here is that painting, the United Services. And the men would have get-togethers, and here you can see the men of the army, the old Chelsea pensioners in their red jackets, and the men of the navy the old pensioners of Greenwich in their blue jackets, and our man himself, John de Man, over to the right, leaning on the back of the chair. And you can well imagine the stories and memories that these old fellas would have shared. Ought to have been a fly on the wall in those days, eh? And some more past pensioners of Greenwich Royal Naval Hospital. 
Over to the left, you've got a photograph taken in 1858, a daguerreotype, a Greenwich hospital with a pensioner, John Rome, <clears throat> then aged over 80. Rome had hoisted Nelson's famous England Expects signal at the Battle of Trafalgar. The image to the right is an unidentified Greenwich boatswain pensioner taken in about 1851. Such a shame we don't know his name. Another lovely old daguerreotype and they look a real pair of characters, don't they? And the rooms or cabins as they were called, what were they like? Here we can see one of the cabins of one of the pensioners and what it was like. This cabin is a uh, cabin, Royal Charles Ward. And this is one of the pensioners sitting in his room in the Royal Charles Ward. And you can see the images and the things on the shelves. And it's not easy, it's not hard to let the imagination wander and think of all these things that he would have collected over his life in the Navy and on his journeys. He collected all in this little cabin at the, towards the end of his life. And here you see the Royal Hospital Greenwich London 19th century. The chapel over to the left and the painted hall over to the right. And the chapel of St Peter and St Paul. <clears throat> the chapel at Greenwich was burned in January 1779. James Stewart rebuilt it in 1779 to 88. When he died it was finished by William Newton. And here is the interior view of the new chapel, the Royal Naval Hospital at Greenwich, circa 1790. 1820s to 1830s another image showing the interior of the chapel and 1960s showing us the interior of the chapel pretty much as we know it today and see it today and that ladies and gents concludes our history and tour of the Greenwich Royal Naval Hospital slash college hope you've all enjoyed Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Thanks for watching all. See you all soon.